Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, I got the Pro Boat UL19 out here at the Park Pond. Uh, today we're actually going to be just running the boat in this video, uh, trying to get a baseline with this motor, try to check the temps, get a temp on the wires before I throw this Hobby Star 4074 1700 kV motor in the boat. 4074. Now I'm running a 4074 Triple S motor, 2000 kV. We're going to take the 2000 kV out, put the 1700 kV in. Okay, just kind of getting the baseline with this motor and checking some temps so I kind of know where this motor is with this motor. So we're going to run it, take it to the house, change the motor out, and then I'm going to bring the boat out in this video and run it again. Okay, so it may be a long video. Stick around. Big B with Anclad RC. Actually pondering this one of my subscribers I can't remember your name brother but I ap apologize but he's actually ran water cooling on his connectors all right I got a cooling plate from an old ESC right here that I actually uh, zip tied my wires over and around the the, the cooling plate and uh, to try to cool down to try to cool down the connectors okay um, I just wanted to show you guys this before I cut it off. I didn't hook up cooling tool or nothing, but uh, he said he said it it worked. He swore by it. I got the Oxteen 42 on. Okay. I'm gonna do some hard laps here. We'll check the temp on the ESC and the motor and the wires. 100C spectrum packs. Not gonna stop. Plenty of cooling coming out of both sides, it looks like. I had to get my camera situated. I got my CG pushed back. Man, it's actually running good. I hate to change this 2000 kV motor out because I like the speed, I like the speed of it, but those hot bullets and, and connectors is one, you know, that's something else. That's a whole different story. The, you know, the lower you go down in kV, the cooler, the cooler you'll, you'll, your electronics should be. You know, uh, lower kV can run big props. High kV you have to run smaller props, you know. Higher kV has a higher top end normally. such a smooth boat it's a it's a big boat there's a lot to it I'll put it on the setup board so you guys can see my setup that's about half trigger you guys and I could probably run this 2000 kV motor on 4s with no issue at all you know probably run it with no issue What a pretty running boat. Not running it hard, not running it easy. I think I got the setup of the boat right. She's not really, you know, doing nothing crazy. She's, she's planted in the water. She's not wanting to pick up. Uh, all right, so we, we just smelted a wire. Let's get it back. Let's see exactly what the temps are. I'm glad this happened. Okay, now we can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use these same damn connectors. I've got some new connectors for it, but I'm actually gonna solder on these same exact connectors I'm running in the boat when I put this new motor in. All right, I wanna see, I wanna see the difference in KV with the same exact connectors. Okay, see if it makes a difference. I've got some brand new connectors for it. All right, so yeah, look at that. We saw we desoldered a wire, okay, and they're extremely hot, 200 degrees. Okay, the ESC is 154, 119 on the ESC. The ESC is not hot, 119, 131. The ESC 
within operating range. The highest number I have on my ESC is 150. The wires, the wires are extremely hot. Uh, 150 was my highest temp on the ESC. 180, 190, 200 on the wires. All right, so we're back at the shop. It's actually the next day. Uh, last night, I was bored, didn't have a chance to actually start this video. But last night, I just soldered it on my wire. All right, same same bullet connector I was using. All right, these bullet connectors, they've, eh, they've seen better days. Okay, they're six millimeter bullets. Um, I'm gonna desolder these bullets that are on the motor and solder them on this Hobby Star. Okay, it comes with a four. I'm gonna solder on these sixes, all right? Uh, in an upcoming video, we're going to put the 8mm castles on. Alright, but for this video, for testing purposes, for my, my learning experience, I'm keeping these same bullets on. Just want to see if the lower KV motor helps with heat. Okay, so before I show you that, I got the boat on a setup board here. Uh, those of you who run this boat successfully, uh, I would love to hear your input on my setup. Okay. Um, you got a piece of foam cut, all right, and I can barely fit it in up here. Okay, you guys see that? Uh, the farther I go back on the boat, she'll start going under. Okay, my my stinger, my strut, excuse me, is flat. Okay, it's flat, flat to the to the sponsons. I got it on this flat setup board. She's flat. My Kyle, it's soaking in. Well, I'm using a hand sanitizer today, but I usually do it in alcohol. This is 90% alcohol, basically. And then I use a bore cleaner to just clean out my Kyle before I reinstall it. Um, so uh, I actually did run into one little, one little hiccup. It's not even a hiccup. I just wanted to point this out. Uh, the Triple S motor, 2000 KV Triple S 4074. All right, I was actually able to run this long water jacket. The head screws on the end bell here are actually put in this way. Okay, so I'm actually able to run my water jacket past these grub screws on the back, on the front end bell, and I can run this long on the SSS motor. I cannot run the long on the Hobby Star motor. I've actually tried three different, three different long water jackets here, and all of them leak where this back end bell screw is okay the o-rings don't match up on this hobby star so i'm going to have to run this short water jacket which shouldn't be an issue the, the motor really that motor never got hot it's the wires okay speaking of wires this is the reason i'm doing this all right the wire itself on the hobby star motor all right the wire itself, I'm going back, back to the actual wire. 2.7, 2.8. All right. The wire on the 4074 triple S motor is 2.8. So it's the same size wire, 2.7, 2.8. Okay, you guys see that? Uh, the wires on this triple S motor, they look like they're bigger, but it's just the, the actual wire sheath that's larger. Okay, making the wire appear larger in diameter. But it's, it's in all actuality, it's not. It's the same exact size wire, okay? Now, I think both of these motors are Y-wound. All right, I don't have the specs on... The triple s motor all right um i couldn't find a 2000 kv triple s motor anywhere online even steve vanceboro couldn't find it the hobby star 1700 you guys can go to uh, rc juice and, and look up the specs but uh you won't find the specs for this guy so just wanted to show you guys that so what i'm about to i'm gonna desolder these and i'm basically gonna solder them right back on here okay solder them on the hobby star okay both of the motors are the same length, 4074 and a 4074, all right? 
Alright, alright. So, uh, back at the park pond. Day two of testing, okay? Um, I got the motor installed. It actually looks really good, okay? I got it lined up with the stuffing tube there. My stuffing tube mount actually melted when I had this motor inside. <laughs> it was like cocked sideways. So I'm going to need to replace my stuffing tube retainer uh, here shortly, okay? But uh, I got it all hooked up. Couldn't fit the long jacket on because of the screws, like I said. Uh, got the same 5.5s on. All right, just soldered them right onto this motor, okay? <coughs> Smooth drive line, you guys. Look at the turret. Oh, there's a boat killer. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Freddy? Freddy the boat killer. <laughs> Let's run this thing, okay? I'm going to... I'm going to try to run it, you know, half throttle, full throttle. I'm not going to put a GPS in it. I'm just going to run it, okay? Whole pack. Oh. Okay, so it definitely don't have the speed as the 2000 kV motor. But that's all right. We can prop the boat up, put bigger props on it with the lower kV motor. Plenty of cooling coming out both sides. Yeah, plenty of cooling coming out of both sides. Full trigger. We'll put the GPS in. If I make it through this first set of packs, we'll put the GPS in. All right. I didn't even I didn't even weigh the motor. Motors, you know, I should have weighed them, see which one was heavier. So far, so good. I love having a new motor in a boat. So nice, you know. All right. Full trigger. Full trigger. All right. Ooh. A little close to the Christmas tree there. So far, so good. Man, she runs good, man. So, yeah, you guys seen it on the setup board there. You know, you guys who run this boat successfully, I definitely would like to know your opinion. You know, where you set your, your tunnel or your... You know, with the with the strut and stuff, according to the sponsors. Ooh, call a little air. My my batteries are exactly where I had them at before, so the weight's all on point. So lower KV motor, I can already tell you right now, I'm getting a longer run time already. I can tell you that right now. I'd already be done with my pack or desoldered a wire or something, especially running at full trigger like this. Full trigger, full trigger. All right. So I think it was just a higher KV motor. But my temps in ESC, I mean, they didn't get extremely hot. It was really just the wires that got hot. Nice. I think I got this thing whooped, you guys. Starting to feel a little power, power, you know, reduction. So we might bring it in here in a second. Yeah, much longer run time, much longer run time. With a lower KV motor, you know, uh, this motor right here, it's like 30, 30, 30 volts max. So we're not really maxing the, the motor out with voltage. All right, that's our battery or something. All right, or something. All right, so we lost complete power. So I think, I think we just desoldered a battery connector. Uh, that's why I want to go up on battery connector size and bullet size, you know? No smoke, no smoke. Oh, yes. Yep, there it is. So. Um, so this is not the factory solder on this battery. Yeah, I accidentally ordered an IC3 on the batteries, so I actually soldered these connectors on myself. So let's check temps here on the motor. 131 on the motor, 150 on the on the back of the motor. All right, ooh, she's warm, warm. 122, 123, 113 on the ESC here. So you know the ESC is not getting hot. It's not the ESC. 166 is the highest I have on my ESC, and that's on the edge of the 
of the shroud or whatnot 123 on the motor but i had it full trigger the whole time okay so you know desoldering the battery connector that's kind of my fault that's kind of my fault so let's throw the 100 c packs in i definitely need to invest in that silver core solder i'm just using regular big box store solder like 90 percent of you guys would be using you know what i'm saying all right so i'm gonna drive it like i got some sense it's gonna cruise around okay i can't help it i want to get it throttled so bad yeah i think i could have ran the boat with 4s you know with that 2000 kv motor and she probably would have been all right i wouldn't have had to change the motor out you know all right so it's i'm basically feathering the throttle quarter to half throttle all the way around here okay full trigger all right and then i got it fe i'm feathering it between quarter and half Yeah, I think flattening out those sponsons a, a degree or so may help, may help. You know, do a light blueprint, maybe even do some graphite or something later on with it. I was actually looking up G10 last night. It's like a laminate type uh, sheet that you can glue on the sponsons and kind of change up the AOA with a G10 sheet. I'm also considering that. So half trigger, half trigger, half trigger, full trigger. Okay, half trigger, feathering it, drive it like I got some sense. All right, so let's bring it in, let's bring it in, and check the temps. I got my GPS with me, let's throw the GPS in. I usually do about 50 to 52 miles an hour around the tree. So 129, 103, 104, 102 on the ESC. Okay, I got a 152 on my ESC somewhere. Okay, the wires are 174, 161. They're hot. All right. So 105 on the battery wire this time. Last time the battery wires were hotter than the motor wires. This time the motor wires are hotter. All right, 140. The ESC wires on the ESC coming out the ESC 102. The, the ESC is cool. The motor is cool. 116, 139. All right. Full trigger. Full trigger. All right, half trigger. Half trigger. such a pretty boat on the water and I like this boat like I said it's a freaking challenge man I like a boat that's a challenge man it's not fun if, if nothing's challenging I like to to, to better my know-how learn you know this is a great boat to learn all this like uh, you know on this platform it's a great learning platform you know if you want to step up your game this is it this is the ticket man Like I said, I was getting 50 to 53 mile an hour around the around the trees there. And with the 1700 kV, same prop, we're only getting 40 miles an hour around the trees. So big difference in speed. Uh, we're back at the shop. Okay, we're back at the shop. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually make like a, almost like a second part to this video. Okay, uh, we're gonna. We've already seen what the 2000 kV motor did, the 1700 kV motor. Okay, uh, we know that we're our wires are still getting hot, but nowhere near as hot as they were getting with the 2000 kV motor. Uh, when we ran the 2000 kV motor the first run, the wires were like 200 degrees, 206, I think was my hottest. Okay, with the 2000 kV. With the 1700 kV, I think my hottest wire temperature was uh, motor wire, ESC wires, was like 160. So 
the lower kv motor did actually reduce the temperature on the wires now granted i did desolder a wire a battery wire on my second run granted i did do that and um i think it's due i think it's actually due to my connectors being tarnished okay so that's what my connectors currently look like okay i've had them these batteries for like four months uh, i've ran them in salt water plug I, I use my boats daily just about it you guys these batteries get used a lot so when you plug in and unplug in wires they actually spark you know uh that's what they're supposed to look like that's what they look like now so what's happening with that with that first run with the new motor okay i desoldered my battery connector uh, we're not getting the voltage through the wire not not enough voltage flow current flow okay and it's heating the w wires up because of the connection here okay lack of connection in induces heat all right as far as i know as far as i know i'm not a freaking professional okay so the second part of the video we're actually gonna the second video to this video we're gonna actually solder on all new connectors esc motor and batteries okay all new connectors i got them ready to go all right um i priced the connectors the upgraded connectors it would cost like 60 dollars to do four four batteries and four connectors it's like 60 bucks so i'm gonna just run them with what i got so these these connectors all right i only have one decent connector of the six it's that middle one right there you guys see that i hope you guys learned something i i really did i really did you know it's such a learning experience with these boats you know switching motors out low kv high kv especially with these high performance boats this platform here is a whole it's a whole nother animal entirely okay so um yeah so we're gonna we're on this i got the velez in the works working on that and uh i got some pretty decent videos coming up okay so like comment subscribe to the channel big b with ironclad rc